afternoon. That's going to be a demonstration of can capable Lua scripting in Rust EFI. A lot of open source stuff through the CAN bus. We have one device over here with a potentiometer physically attached to this device. Then we have the CAN bus. Then we have the receiving device. We have a random actuator. What's extremely cool about all this is device number one, the little micro fi is running a script which programmatically chooses what it takes and where it sends it. So packet is completely custom. The logic of packet and the payload is completely custom and it's in the script and you just click write to ECO and it's online, uh, it's applied online because that's the language inside the ECU. There's nothing to compile. This is not C language. This is Lua script language, a popular open source framework. You control what you want to send. And in the same way, a more complex script, this is now, I've switched the console. This is the script in the other ECU, in the big black Protoss ECU. In the big black Protoss ECU, we declare that we're going to be reading CAN messages. We're going to be implementing how we decode that, those CAN messages. And then we're actually going to be doing a little bit of PID regulator. Again, that's the script. That's the standard primitive in RASIFI Lua implementation. And based on that, we're going to be actually controlling the random actuator. So. The cool part here is not sensor through the CAN bus. The cool part here is that CAN encoding and CAN decoding are both done through the script. Everything is very in line. For example, I can choose to hide those two lines, not to print those. I click right to ECU. And now the ECU is executing another script. I want to print more stuff. I again click right to ECU. And the ECU is already e executing a different script because the scripting language, the scripting framework is built into the ECU and you do all that in a very online fashion. Fashion. I barely speak English. Hopefully that's exciting because that's very exciting for us EFI. Um, poke me if you have questions. Thank you. Have a great day.